So much confusion about the Paycheck Protection Program loan. PPP. Program. PPP. Program. Program. Program in the year 2021. It was so much easier last year. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I it wasn't so much easier. I mean, it was easier, but it was not so much easier. But it, why is it worse? It was never easier. We're what? never doing it again. It's Wednesday, WTF Wednesday. That's not to say there were not glitches and there are still glitches happening. Welcome to WTF Wednesday, where every week we talk about stupid <laughs> that we've encountered that you should try to avoid. Why is it worse this year? Oh, I, I G. G. Office of Inspector General with the SBA that released their report for the public consumption about all of the fraud that occurred on the Paycheck Protection Program loans in the year 2020. And because of that, the SBA has really stepped up a robust fraud prevention enforcement protocol, which has turned the 2021 Paycheck Protection Program into an absolute nightmare absolute for nightmare. tens of thousands of small business owners across tens the United States. Tens of thousands, tens like Tens of millions. thousands. Well, it wasn't a million loans last year. It was- Feels set, like it was, a million. It was almost 700,000 loans last year. Last year, the SBA supported banks in making somewhere near 700,000 Paycheck Protection Program loans. And in today's SBA OIG report, they cited fraud numbers. Less than 1%. 4,260 instances of businesses that, according to the OIG report, incorrectly received PPP loans because of duplicate applications or multiple, multiple applications for the same businesses at the same addresses or EIN numbers. Getting funded. 4,260. Hashtag math is fun. 4,260 is 0.06% of 700,000. Imagine if you wanted to open a bank account and you called the bank to say, hey, I'd like to come down this afternoon to open a checking account. And the bank rep says to you, okay, Linda, come on down, but please have the following information with you. Several forms of photo identification, a genealogy report, a tax return, a credit report, several personal and professional credit references, at least five personal and at least 14 professional references. And please know that we may, we reserve the right to test your blood and urine when you're here at the bank to open the checking account. And you're shocked, Linda. Like, why would I want to do that? Well, she says, because we once had a bank robbery here at the bank in 1964. And so we, you know, you can never be too careful because we don't know if you're a bank robber. One bank robbery, 1964. That's kind of what this feels like in my head that does math. 4,260 cases of possible fraud. By the way, the OIG report doesn't say definitely. Possible fraud out of 700,000. My word of the year for this last 12 months of this process is hyperbole. Mm, There's nice been, word. we sometimes are poking fun at various requirements and processes and such, and it's sometimes hyperbole and sometimes it's not. Like blood and urine, hyperbole. Genealogy report, hyperbole. But the point is this, for realsies, uh, they are asking business owners for proof of their existence with in multiple times, not just at once. Through the whole process. Through the whole process. Before getting spoon your- Spoon fed these requirements. And this business is just trying to survive and run their business. And now they've got to tend to all these requirements. They have to stop, figure out where it is, what it is, what it means, what they need to do, how to do it, blah, blah, blah. So, you Desperately know. needed funding. And and because of the 0.06% of people that defrauded the SBA. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You can be sure there is... But if, there you, is if you imagine fraud. those percentages, I mean, you know, people, there are people out there who are afraid to fly, right? Yeah. And, you know, if you look at the number of plane crashes relative to the number of auto accidents, yeah. certainly it is entirely more dangerous to get into a car than to fly in an airplane. We've done a video on how woefully underfunded the SBA is to operate and the amount, the volume of work they're, they're managing in their frontline SBA it's agents. pretty incredible. Who we always have a good experience with. The vast 
depth of responsibility that this agency has, and yet it's a joke with how they're managed and that there's still no confirmed SBA administrator. As of today, still Isabel Guzman is not yet confirmed by the United States Senate. It's alarming. It's distressing for every one of our clients or every one person that we hear about who knows three people that got funded already, what's taking so long, Trevor? We can point to 20 or 30 other people we can find in a heartbeat on the internet and clubhouse and comments on our YouTube page, etc., or on the phone with us who say they have been trying to get funded since January. So we also got a call from one of our clients last week. We're working on two businesses for her um, to do EIDL loans, and she went to get her PPP loans on her own, and she's in this Cycle, circle, cycle, a circle swirly, of hell. Dante's, you know, swirly, girly gumdrops. Different levels it? of hell, and um, Dante's gumdrops. inferno. The SBA is telling her that she has a criminal record. Oh right, she does not have a criminal record. Never has had a criminal record. Um, I just spoke to somebody on one of our free consultation calls a few minutes ago that got two PPP loans last year. One for her business and one for her Schedule C income because that's how she pays herself from her business. She doesn't take payroll from her business. She has employees, so she got a PPP loan for her employees last year. She got a Schedule C for herself. And now the SBA is doing this. No, but you got two loans last year, and you shouldn't have gotten two loans. And this is what's going on. It's like this crazy short. So is it, if this is making you dizzy, imagine it how is. this, and I'm this cal, gal feels. Right By the way, to... you know who you are, and I'm shouting out to you because that's how she found us on YouTube. I'm not even going to ask you to like this video because, I mean, why would you like this video? My name is Trevor. This is the lovely Linda Ray, and we are Aurora Consulting. Financing solutions for your success story. Hit thumbs up anyway because we could use the action. We need some love. We need some love. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> it's been a long day. A long day. You hear this noise? This is my ASMR attempt to calm myself down during this conversation. <laughs>